Well, good afternoon, everyone. I want to, uh, first of all, thank Senator Mancham for being here with us today and thank Tom Hayes, the general manager for Uber in West Virginia, for also joining us. And to our driver, Vincent, it's right here, the first Uber driver in West Virginia for our ride from the Capital Market. Over the past several years, we've worked hard to grow our business climate and strengthen our economy. And it is important that we welcome new opportunities like Uber that not only create jobs, but also provide services that benefit West Virginians. With bipartisan support from both the House and Senate, and we have many of the House and Senate members here with us today, we were able to enact legislation that paved the way for Uber to come to West Virginia and for the very first Uber ride in our state today. Uber provides services to more than 400 cities around the world, and it is great news that West Virginia now will have access to even more transportation options. In cities like Pittsburgh and Columbus and D.C., ride-sharing services like Uber are, ex are an expected convenience. And now Charleston and Morgantown can provide those same services so that our visitors can see more of what the Mountain State has to offer, Amy. Just want to make sure Amy Gilman was paying attention out there. <laughs> more opportunities for tourism in West Virginia. <laughs> the safety of West Virginia consumers is also very important. Uber drivers are required to pass background checks, carry insurance, and follow a zero-tolerance drug and alcohol policy. Uber also provides an opportunity for West Virginians to benefit from self-employment. In addition to these transportation options have been shown in other states to help reduce incidents of drunk driving. It is important that we bring in companies like Uber to spur, to spur economic growth, new jobs, enhance tourism opportunities, and valuable services for our residents. I'd also like to officially welcome Uber to the Mountain State. Mr. Uber. I'm happy, that, I'm happy that we can all work together to mobilize this new opportunity in West Virginia. And now Tom Hayes from Uber will speak. Tom? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Governor Tomlin, for your leadership and support on this issue for the great state of West Virginia. And thank you, Senator Manchin. Uh, for joining the governor on the first ever Uber ride in the state as we prepare to launch this afternoon. Your support's greatly appreciated. A couple other folks here that I want to call out personally for all their effort to bring Uber to West Virginia. Thank you, House Majority Daryl Coles, Delegates Brad White, Marty Gearhart, Eric Nelson, and their colleagues for introducing and advocating for this legislation in the House. And we really appreciate the efforts of Senators Mitch Carmichael, Ryan Ferns, Ed Gaunch, and Mike Waffle, and others to get the bill passed through the Senate. I am especially proud to be here in the great st state of West Virginia, as I was actually born here myself. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> Starting this afternoon, West Virginians will start to have access to safe, reliable transportation options at the touch of a button. And starting today, thousands of residents will start taking advantage of flexible work opportunities by driving with Uber and providing a valuable service to their neighbors and in their communities. Whether it's a teacher who wants to earn extra money during the summer break, veterans transitioning back into civilian life, or someone who is supporting their family between jobs, driving with Uber means that they can use it whenever they want or need it most. The opportunity for work at the touch of a button, the ability to balance family and other life responsibilities with the convenience of earning money on their own terms and with their own schedule. We're touched by the warm welcome today and really encouraged by the intense interest we've seen over the past couple of months from West Virginians eager to experience Uber in their cities. Thank you again for this invitation today. And with that, I'll turn it over to U.S. Senator representing West Virginian interests in Washington, Senator Joe Manchin. First of all, thank you, Tom, and thank you, Governor, and thank you, legislators, for doing what you've done. I see Delegate Reynolds and Delegate Byrd and 
and Senator Walters and all of you who have worked so hard on this. Anytime we can create opportunities in West Virginia, we do it. And I appreciate that in a bipartisan way. Um, traveling to and from uh, an airport, traveling to and from work, traveling to and from, Scott, our fine establishments throughout West Virginia. I know it's got to be a boom for you, big time. And the restaurant business and, the, and, and all that, uh, and sometimes uh, the beverages that, that we like to consume at times, it's always helpful to get home safe. And, uh, and this is going to provide that. Let me just say that basically there's 30 states, 30 states in the United States of America have this. 67 countries have Uber. 67 countries. And David, and starting out in Kanawha County, I know being a commissioner here, it makes a lot to you. I think from here it goes to Morgantown and Monongahela County. I think Doug is going to end up quickly down in Cabell County and Huntington. I think it's just that wherever the market is, they're going to go. Then the great thing is if you talk to the drivers, talk to Vincent, some of these people have signed up. This is extra income, extra opportunity for them and their families. They have uh, full-time jobs, uh, other jobs, but you know what? They can work their own time. They can work wherever they want to work. And it's, it's unbelievable to be your own boss and have this additional opportunities for income. That's really what it's all about. And I've used Uber. Now, the reason the governor said, Joe, would you come with me? Because he made me pay. <laughs> Things are tough. <laughs> he doesn't need, see, he doesn't need it yet. But by January, he's going to need the Uber app. I'll have it. He'll have the app by January. But right now, since I have the app in uh, Washington and I do use it, Gail uses it uh, much more than I do when she comes up and visits. But it, I just can't tell you how convenient it is. And to be able to see where the car is and how quick they're going to be to you, and it's just unbelievable. It really is. The technology today and West Virginia being on the forefront of this, and I think, you know, speaks a lot to all of us. So let me just say that uh, I commend Uber for making the investment in West Virginia. Uh, Tom, I think it'll be rewarding. We're a rural state, and we have an awful, awful lot of people who don't have cars, that don't drive anymore, that depend on somebody else. And there's not public transportation that's really convenient in so many areas. So I see this expanding and seeing basically a rural state taking it to another level. Because I don't know if even Uber really realizes how much demand and how much need there is. So we're going to see this thing really blossom and take off. And Kanawha County is the kickoff. We'll see what happens there. But I want to thank the governor for the leadership. Thank all the legislators for getting this done. It was well needed and much needed. And uh, with that being said, I look for a prosperous. And any of you all looking for a little extra income, this is... Uh, if I get a little downtime in Washington, Carol. I might jump in one myself. There. <laughs> Carol, tourism. Got to be great for tourism, right, Carol? It's got to be. Everybody's been wanting this. Again, thank you. Uber, thank you. Governor, thank you. Appreciate it very much, and I think it's going to be great. It's another good day for the state of West Virginia. Thank you. I guess you all have any questions you might have for the governor, myself, or for Tom? Or for Vincent. Vincent? <laughs> yeah, Vincent. You might want to ask Vincent. Huh? Well, whatever. I mean, yeah, anybody have anything, or are you all bashful? You have all the answers? <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. What do you Tom, think? Tom? Yeah, we're, we're always uh, testing and, and looking at, at new products. We're going to start with uh, UberX and, and start there, but, you know, we're, we're, we're always exploring options. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, Brad Paisley wasn't too excited about my driving. <laughs> So uh, I think I'd do better on a motorcycle. That'd be great. Yeah, we're, I never yeah. thought about that. We're very pleased to have Uber with the uh, senators in town. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, that plane went over. I thought maybe that was an Uber plane. Yeah, was, you, uh, <laughs> I bet you thought about that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. Let me, let me just say one thing here. And really, Governor and I had the privilege of talking to Vincent. And we said, Vincent, how did you come up, Vince? Vincent's our first driver, okay? How did you... How did you <laughs> How did you do it? How did you tell them how you found out about them? What? Uh, I was uh, I worked for ADT Security, and uh, I was in training in Texas. And a guy from San Diego who was in the same training class as I told me that you know he Ubers, Ubers and he makes a thousand dollars a week, and I should do it. You know, should do it too. And I said, well, that sounds great. You know, so I signed up for it, and I realized after I signed up that we hadn't had it yet <laughs> <laughs> because this is back in January. So uh, I've been waiting patiently for it to pass, and when it passed, I couldn't wait for July 1st. And, uh, and I, I'm very thankful for the legislation working together to getting this passed. Thank you for signing it. Thank you for the state putting it together. And uh, as an um, entrepreneur now, because this is my business now, I thank everybody.
That's great. Yeah. Thank you all. Thanks.